One of the most important assets a company must protect and control is your inventory. So in this video, you will learn how to calculate your beginning inventory, which is the first step of accounting for inventory changes during an accounting period. So let's understand of this beginning inventory. Beginning inventory is the dollar value of all inventory held by an organization at the beginning of an accounting period. And this inventory can be anything, whatever the company sells, right? So if we are talking about a less electronic store, then the dollar value of televisions, computers, and whatever else they have can be considered as their inventory. For a grocery store, inventory is the total of the apples, cherries, peaches, and all the other food. Using beginning inventory each accounting period, managers and investors rely on the financial statement to give them the valuable information about the health and the strength of their business. So one of the most considerations they are very interested is, is there any change in their inventory level? Decreasing inventory may be an indicator that sales are accelerating, but it could be also other issues with your supply chain. Increasing inventory could happen when companies are preparing for a busy uh, season, but it could also mean that the company is producing more than they are selling. Whatever the cause, changes in inventory level are often an early indicator that something is changing in the business environment. To calculate the change in inventory, there are four variables you must be known, right? Ending inventory, additions to inventory, inventory sold or used, and your beginning inventory. Technically speaking, beginning inventory should always be the same as the ending inventory from the previous accounting period. While this is true, there are two reasons that the formula for beginning inventory shouldn't just plug in the last period ending inventory. First, there isn't always a last accounting period. At some points, beginning inventory has to be calculated in dependence of the previous accounting periods. Second, and most importantly, if ending inventory is miscalculated at some points, and then it is used as beginning inventory, the error wouldn't be caught. And if it is, it wouldn't be very difficult to identify why and when it happened. The formula for calculating beginning inventory without considering the previous accounting periods looks like this. Ending inventory plus sales minus inventory that is added to your stock equal to beginning inventory. So let's take the formula example here. Let's try out this formula. This is the beginning of the accounting period. And as the financial reporting manager, you are responsible for calculating the inventory numbers for ABC car company. Since you sell car, the value of each car in your inventory is pretty accurate. And it's pretty easy to know what inventory you have right now. So you have 1.2 million in inventory sitting at your car lot. The first thing you have to do is add back in the inventory that left during the last accounting period. When you pull up your inventory numbers, yeah, not the sales number, since what you saw might not be its valuing, right? So you see that you have sold 600,000 worth of cars last month. But you didn't just sell cars. You brought some cars in as well. Some were trades and some were from the manufacturers or the auctions company. So when you check your purchasing record, you see that you brought in 200,000 in trades and another 200,000 in new vehicles, then for a total of 400,000 of new vehicles in your inventory, right? So what was your beginning inventory in this case? If you figure out, it should be 1.4 million, right? You are right. So using our numbers in the example and the formula, we get 1.2 million plus 600 minus 400,000 equal to 1.4 million. So what's the lesson summary, summary here? Beginning inventory is the dollar amount of a company's goods at the beginning of an accounting period. Each line of the financial statement is the result of an analysis or calculations that usually takes at least a calculations and some pretty good analytical skill. Inventory is certainly one that needs to be watched and because it is so important and it's critical that data is correct when this is all said and done. 
having an accurate inventory report is the major key and it is impossible to do that without a precise and correct figure for beginning inventory. So when this video ends, you should be able to know and describe the beginning inventory, explain the four variables to calculate a change in your inventory, as well as the detail on how to calculate your beginning inventory. Right, so that's all for my sharing today in my video. If you learned something new, don't forget to give me some comments and subscribe to my channel with notifications. All right, so my name is Vivian. You can connect with me and discuss how you can manage more effectively with your inventory or other SOP of your departments or operations. I'm more happy to assist you. So, see you in my next video.